Hey, Dan Meyer here, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take two of my greatest passions in life and I'm gonna merge them, right? So, um, as most of you know, I'm a virtual staffing expert. I speak a lot about virtual staffing, about high, how to hire virtual assistants to help you scale and grow a business. I also have a big, deep background in data. Um, at heart, I'm a nerd. And I spent the big, big part of my career, 15 years actually, working for Wells Fargo Bank. And most of that time, I was a, an analyst analyzing data to help in decision making. I would give decision makers, you know, senior executives at the bank, intel that they could use to make good decisions. Um, I did research on trying to figure out all kinds of demographic data, um, understanding where people live and where they're migrating to and who they are, what age they are, what gender they are, what's their educational background, how much household income. We look at opportunities to launch new products. We figure out where to expand our footprint to. All these things that we had to do as a bank, I was one of the primary movers and shakers behind the scenes compiling data. And when I was doing this, I would have to go outside the bank quite often to find data. In fact, all kinds of businesses, big and small, ex have to turn to external data sources or public data sources to find data to help them in their decision making. I'll give you a great example. I just helped a client who's got a, a small business, it's, it's a, a husband and wife team, and the wife is a public speaker. Um, she's a fantastic speaker. She talks about uh, empowerment and making better business decisions and mind shift. Um, so she does this to a Spanish speaking audience. And her goal was she wanted to figure out what parts of the US she should target in her marketing to have people come to her online events where she'd be speaking in Spanish to small business owners and entrepreneurs about what they can do to, to be able to improve themselves, enhance what they're doing, to empower themselves, to be able to have more impact. And so to do this, she needed to figure out where to target market. So she wanted to know where in the country she should be spending her Facebook ad dollars. So what we did is we went to the US Census. This is probably one of the greatest places to find free public data, census.gov, right? You go there and you can figure out down to the zip code level where people are from that live in every zip code. So if you're looking for a predominantly Spanish speaking audience, you can look for country of origin for everyone who's immigrated to the US and is now part of the US Census. Um, they can indicate on their census form where they were born. And when they do that, that data is stored and it's public accessible. So you can figure out in, in every zip code in the country what percentage or what number of people in a zip code are from any individual country. So if you look at all the Spanish speaking South American countries and you look for that data set and you find out which zip codes have the most people or highest percentage of people born in the Spanish speaking countries in South America, that can be your target market. That's what we did for this business. That's an example of how you have to go out and find public data to help a business, right? Virtual assistants who know how to do analytics, who know how to use data analysis tools, who know how to get go out and get free data can really add a lot of value. Virtual staffing is much more than just doing social media posts and, and making images for for Instagram or you know sharing blog posts. It can also be finding data to help you make good decisions. I've helped other clients do massive data set um, gathering uh, uh, projects for looking at all the real estate uh, businesses in certain counties, um, looking for all the uh, colleges and universities to speak at for women's empowerment. Um, all this data is out there. You just don't know where to go get it. So these are some of the data sets that I've used to help me um, in my business and help my team um, in what we do to be able to serve our clients. I'm going to go through them real quick and I'm going to encourage you to go look at them for yourself. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each one. I'm just going to highlight what's important about these tools. The first is Google Trends, right? Google Trends is a place to go see what's trending, what's popular, what's current, what's going on. You can filter it in a variety of ways to narrow down your location to certain um, geographic locations, certain time ranges, certain types of, of images. You want to look and see what are the most viral things happening in your niche, you go to Google Trends. You can go to data.gov. Um, this is where the census data is also part of. It's a general data um, portal for the US government, data.gov. We track a ridiculous amount of data, right, on everything. You can go to the Small Business Administration site. You can go to census site. You can go to look at individual departments in the, in the executive branch. Um, they all have data. Or you can go to data.gov, and this is kind of an entry level point. But basically, if you want to figure out you know, anything about metrics, 
in the U.S. public data about people, about finances, about agriculture, about public safety, about education, about the environment, about energy, and on and on and on, you can find it at data.gov. Another great place to go is Amazon Web Services Open Data. Amazon has hundreds of data sets for public use on a wide range of topics that have been published by people that used it and then decided to share it, right? Things like um, satellite data, which parts of the country have the best satellite coverage and what satellites. Um, data on trips from taxis and limousines in New York City, finding out what are the most common route people travel in New York City to get from point to point. Um, there are just hundreds and hundreds of data sets on Amazon Web Services open data you can use just to try to figure out other people who have researched and use that for yourself. Um, Pew Internet or Pew Research Center is a great one. Pew Internet Re Internet Data um, is a advocacy group, a nonprofit, nonpartisan group who uh, pushes for more data-driven decision making among the population. Right, so they have all kinds of data sets where they do surveying and they do data analysis of other data sets on things like journalism and religion and politics, economy, social media, demographics. Pew Research Center. Great place to go to find public data sets. You can help better understand the market you're doing your business in. If you're not just looking at the US, every, every country pretty much has public data. Um, the only countries that I know that you cannot find data on is North Korea and Iran. Um, you can find some on China, but it's challenging. Um, but 90% of the countries in the world have government data websites like data.gov.uk, which is basically a British version mirroring our, our data.gov site. Um, and the data.gov the US set up is pretty much the model for most um, public data, pop population data, um, in innovation data, skill data, school data, family data, culture data, media data, sports data, all this stuff can be wrapped together um, in public data sets. So data.gov.uk helps you understand not just the British environment, they also publish data sets that are global. So you can go and look at that as well. Another great place to look for data sets is Reddit, right? In the Reddit comment section, there are data sets that Reddit puts under certain categories that populate and people share them, right? People that need data go to Reddit to ask for it. And then when people post it, it gets archived. So you can find a lot of publicly available data for free on Reddit comments. Um, if you're looking for data on geographic stuff, on things like diseases, things like uh, geography, things looking like things like volcanoes or earthquakes, um, NASA's got a great data set called Earth Data, right? So you go to earthdata.com or you go to NASA's website and look up data, you'll find Earth data. If you're looking for climate data, you want to understand how climate change might be impacting your business. You want to look at where trends are going as far as what kind of businesses are booming that take advantage of changes in climate. You want to look at how, if you're thinking of expanding or growing your business, where's the area that has the least amount of risk? Um, you can go to the National Climatic Data Center, right? This is an example of an archive of environmental data that's put together. Again, there are hundreds of U.S. organizations, about thousands of organizations in the U.S. that publish data. So when you go to data.gov, you can go that way, or you can just go out and and Google search for things like climate data and find that. Another great place that I talk about where you can go find data is the UN. UNICEF has tons of data on things like, you know, ch ch childhood um, mortality, uh, infant mortality, looking at nutrition, looking at uh, famine, looking at all kinds of things that, that UN gathers to look at things that help them understand diseases and gender equality and immunizations and women's issues and children's issues. So UNICEF and the UN in general, if you go to the UN doc Dot org and you type in uh, data, you'll get their data set. UNICEF is a subset of that, but they have great stuff. So does the WHO, the World Health Organization. Um, so does the World Bank. Um, any of these global entities, the IMF, they all have public data that you can use as well. So these are the kind of things you should be thinking about. If you're a VA and you want to add value to what you do, understand how to go out there and find data and analyze it and present it in a way that decision makers can use in their business. Even the smallest businesses, like a husband and wife team who's trying to uh, figure out where they should spend their Facebook ads, or a client who's trying to figure out how to connect with other real estate professionals in counties that are having the highest growth in sales of new real estate. Whatever your niche may be, there's gonna be public data that you can find that you can use to help your business. So among, besides public data, if you're looking for virtual assistants, um, I have a team of virtual assistants that can work with you. Besides doing data mining, public data mining, we can also build YouTube videos and Facebook ads and manage your social media. We can create all kinds of cool content for your social media. We can do email campaigns, we can do newsletters, we can do data entry, we can do bookkeeping, we can do market research. 
whatever it is you need to be done that can be done by a computer, my team can handle. And we do it consistently, we do it with clarity, and we do it with certainty. We offer consistent solutions that then allow you to be more consistent in what you provide your clients. When we understand your business to the point where we do things that is clear with what we want to be able to get done for you and what you want to get done for your clients, right? So we build that clarity into what we do. We want to, we want to create uh, expectations of certainty that you know what you're going to get from us. You get exactly what you pay for. Um, you're going to be able to use it exactly the way that we signed it. We set up the deal to do. You're going to do the same thing with your clients. You're going to give them a sentence of certainty that when they buy something from you, they're going to get exactly what they wanted. This is the idea of how we build our virtual staffing on the three C's of consistency, clarity, and certainty. If you're interested in getting a VA to help you with do public data mining, if you have a, a project that you want to understand better when it comes to looking at data from a public data source to make better decisions, and you can do this for pretty much any decision in your business, you should be looking for a data source, but you shouldn't be doing it. Your VA should, right? So you should have a VA who's got data skills, who's got skills in finding public data and analyzing it, and have them be part of your business. If this is something you want to do, text the word data to 26786. That's data, D-A-T-A, to 26786 to get started today. Let us um, help you focus on what you do best and hire for all the rest. You can go to sonicva.com, it's S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com, um, or you can text the word data to 26786 um, and tell us what we can do to help you get started in using this massive amount of free public data that you should be using to help make better decisions and to drive your business forward in a very, very data-driven way. So thank you for your time. Hope this helped. Um, if you want to nerd out, go ahead and connect with us, drop a comment, text us, uh, go to our website. Regardless, um, I hope to hear from you soon. Now go out and have a wonderful day.